how to estimate an imperfect square root, you've got to try and box it in between the perfect square roots. I know that the square root of 1 is the perfect square root because 1 times 1 equals 1. What's the next number up above it? 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, and we have boxed in our imperfect square root between two perfect square roots. And now you play an estimating game of which perfect square root is our imperfect one closer to. So we'll come over here, we'll make a number line. We have the square root of 3. And it's falling in between, what two square roots was it again? Square root of 1 and the square root of 4. I know that the square root of 1 is 1, so this is a number line. Curry, copy off the screen. This is Sherry Curry, copy off the screen. And I know that the square root of 4 is 2. And now you just play the guessing game of, hmm, is square root of 3 closer to square root of 1? Or is it closer to the square root of 4? For my abilities, I think it's closer to the square root of 4 because it's only 1 away, and it's 2 away from the square root of 1. I could also, in my mind, say, hey, the square root of 2 would probably land about right there. This is 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1.9, and finally we get to 2.0. If you're estimating that it's somewhere in the vicinity of 1.6 or 1.7, that's a pretty good guess because it's definitely closer to the square root of 4 and it's further away from the square root of 1. Let's go through and look at another one. The perfect square root of 14 does not exist, so it's imperfect. I need to box it in between my perfect ones again. In my mind, I'm going through this. 1 squared equals 1. 2 squared equals 4. 3 squared equals 9. 4 squared equals 16. Oh, okay. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. That boxes it in. The square root of 9, the square root of 16. Let's go to our number line and see if it makes sense. Here's my square root of 14. I said it was boxed in between square root of 9 here and square root of 16. Let's go through and solve our perfect square roots. That way we can lock in our number line. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 9 is 3. So on this number line, I know this is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.9. And all I do is ask myself, is the square root of 14 closer to the square root of 9, or is it closer to the square root of 16? Probably someone right in through there. About 3.7, 3.8. 3 3.5, it should be right in the middle, and, and that sounds like it should probably be square root of 12 or so. Because 12 is closer to being between 9 and 16. Square root of 14 is closer. So, Let's just say square root of 14 is about, that's an approximation symbol right here. So we say square root of 14 is approximately 3.7. I might be wrong, but if you check it with your calculator, you'll see I'm not too far off. I can't be too far off. And then if I come through here, if we said, hmm, Square root of 68. Let's see, I know 8 squared is 64. And that's a little bit less than that, so the square root of 64 is 8. This one has to be 9 times 9, so the square root of 81. These two perfect square roots box in this imperfect square root of 68. I go to a number line, and I do the exact same thing again. This is square root of 64. This is square root of 81. The square root of 64 is 8. The square root of 81 is 9. And then I just play my guessing game of, hmm, square root of 68. Let's see. Yeah, that's a whole lot closer to 64 than it is 81. So it's going to be 
maybe 8.2 because the square root of 71 or 72 is probably about the halfway point. If I said, what was the square root of 80? 80 is right up against it, so that's probably 8.9 if I was guessing that. That's what you're doing. You're putting in all of these square roots that are in between the perfect ones. You could put square root of 65 about here, square root of 66 about here, 67 here, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. It's, it's imperfect, but if you can get within one or two decimal places, one or two decimal points, point 0.1, point 0.2, within the real one, you're estimating the right way. So square root of 68, if you said 8.1, pretty good. If you said 8.2, pretty good. 8.3, I'm getting a little worried, but anything that's higher than 8.3, you're just wrong. We're just trying to get in the ballpark with this. And now let's take a look at uh, one other one. Let's take a look at the square root of 2. I know 1 squared equals 1. I know 2 squared equals 4. So the square root of 2 falls between the square root of 1 and the square root of 4. On your papers, this is more how it would look like it. Hmm. I think it's probably going to be 1.6 or so, maybe 1.7. So that's how you can do it on your paper without doing that really long and tedious number line every single time.